I created this resource with Tara Ruckman and also down here, it kind of had some ideas from EB Academics. They have really good resources, so I highly suggest you check them out. Um, but what happens is when students are not really focused, they might have to fill out a refocus form. So when students start to show that off task behavior, this is like when they're talking when they're not supposed to, maybe they're getting onto their chair, maybe they're messing around or doing some type of off task behavior. The first thing you're going to do is give them a nonverbal warning. Um, so you might kind of look at the student, get them back on track, and then prompt, you know, that student only. Um, once that happens, you might walk away, provide some time, and then if the student does not go back to the task, you might go on to the next step. So the next step would be this refocus form. So with this refocus form is um, you'll walk over to the student and you might tell them some with like a verbal signal. Um, and again, you kind of want to teach them this procedure before you kind of go through it and explain this process, not just when it, something bad happens. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to just say you're really off task right now uh, when you're blank, like whatever you're doing, and you need to go fill out the refocus form. Then another way you could say this is you're being really off task right now and you need to go fill out that refocus form. It's always better, though, if you can state what the student's doing wrong. That way there's no confusion, no question. They know exactly what they're doing wrong. You are talking out, you are doing whatever. Um, once that happens, students will go to that area where these forms are and they'll just fill out that form. And again, you'll want to make sure you teach this process before they just do it. Um, the student's gonna turn that in to the teacher and then the student will go back, resume an activity and then the student will then conference with the teacher and the teacher could email the parent if this is like multiple different things or the parent needs to be aware. There are some notes over here. So there's like an accommodation version on slide three. This one does not have set in starters. That could really help some students as well. Um, so this version, students can circle the options as they kind of reflect. This one, they can type write exactly how they're doing. So you know your students best on which one you would need. Also kind of know, that um, if a student might be EL or has a 504 IP, that this could be um, due to their disability. And so kind of think about that. And it might require more than one prompt for them to get back on task. Um, so just check with their IEP. Again, you know your students best. And so just kind of think about that as well, that some students might need more prompts rather than um, you're gonna do this refocus form every single time. And so um, what the students are going to do here is they are going to say why they were asked to fill this out, um, why were they asked to refocus, um, what they could have done, and then what they'll do in the future. And again, here, they can kind of circle how they did, and you could uh, change this wording, whatever you need to do. And then right here, they can say like what they could have done instead and what they'll do in the future. So like this is just teaching them, okay, I need to ask for a break when I start asking, acting like this. I might need to talk to a friend um, after the lesson's over. And it's just giving them those strategies so they know what to do in the future when these different um, behaviors might occur when they are not focused or showing um, that they're attentive to that task. So again, just some ideas to help you. And then again, you always want to conference with the student and kind of talk with them. How can I help you? What can I do if this is an ongoing issue?